Hello and welcome back to Maple Farm. It is now mid-October. This gorgeous golden October light going on. Loving it. Now, I've already checked the weather. I'll show you guys. We are dry all day. It's, I tell you what, for mid-October, that's pretty bloody warm, I just got to say. But we are dry all day. So we need to get on with our corn harvest. I'm trying to think if there was anything I was doing at the end of the episode last time out that needs showing. Our cows are starved. I think after this uh, this corn we may have to uh, go and get some, some more feed. It's, it's a sad state of affairs. It really is. They need everything. I can't let them go hungry like that. Our uh, beefers, just quickly run, have a look. Our uh, beefers are... Okay, they've got a little bit of feed. They've got enough to get them through one more day, maybe, if they're lucky. But anyway, we need to look into getting our corn harvested. Our beets will be getting ready soon as well. Maybe maybe not in October, maybe that might be a November one, a late, late in the year. But for now, we need to get this in before it turns and withers. pH on this is bad. Fertilization, nitrogen is good. So, expected yield, 82%. Potential, 89%. So, yeah, could be good. Could be good. Let's hit the store. So, let's have a little look at what we've gone for today. We've got a New Holland CR 1990. And this is by Greg Agri and AT Modding. If you're interested in this one, I can stick a link down. Just let me know. It saves me worrying about forgetting. I'll tell you who they're by, and then if you're interested, I'll drop the link. And then at the front, we have got the uh, was that Olimatic uh, Dragger 12 FR, so nine meter, and that is by Collins Custom Modern. And we've gone for the special edition with the uh, the coloured tips. But this is going to be a good setup. This is this is a luxury setup. It costs just under twenty six grand to lease, and our corn is not as full a uh, profit. We are lease we are leasing this just to uh, bring the corn in so we can feed the chickens and hopefully they will make us profit. Because if they are going to eat, and produce at a similar rate to cows. That could be pretty phenomenal. The corn, I believe, is the base feed. We've got wheat in there for energy feed. And I think then they'll start feeding. Then we can add roughage and power feed. So I think that's, um, again, mineral feed, uh, maybe molasses for that. And the roughage is hay. They all take a hay for the roughage, I think, all animals. Some chicken pens, if they allow it, if you put a rooster in, they'll take straw. In sort of comfort. Whether that means they reproduce quicker or not, I do not know. It's something I maybe should look into since I like to put roosters in with my hens. It's better than a fox. But yeah, this should be uh, pretty good. I don't think this will take long even. This will uh, get a whip through. It's a 15,000 litre capacity and it does have the option of an extension, which I didn't go for went for a standard uh, fold out and I went for the header because I knew this was a foldable one some of them fold uh, but it doesn't show that and uh, I always certainly I didn't want to get something then have to get a header trailer and do all that business but while that's getting ready let's head down and get ourselves a tractor and trailer we'll uh, probably bring we'll bring our new Holland with the farmer on the back because that's going to allow us to fill the most because it has the most pulling power so that should allow us to fill to the greatest capacity that's what I'm thinking so New Holland let's go you may have noticed we've changed our clothes with the reset we're in uh, Verma Green on some series I change regularly and in this one I think we've worn the same clothes since day one so a little change Oh, I forgot to put the trade on. We're just talking about bloody clothes. No one's interested in fashion. 
hopefully next month <laughs> when our grass grows one stage cows will have a little feed and produce us a couple of litres of milk how far out am I? Well, not overly but enough to be annoying well at least our harvester will be ready there we go our Multiva our breakfast cereal trailer it does it's our breakfast biscuit our silage is fermenting. That will be for feed. Still, still trying to figure out what we're going to do, like grass-wise and stuff like that at the minute. I can leave that just sitting there with you to use the track. Yeah, I've still got to figure all that out. We are going to need the hay for roughage. We've got the grass silage. Once we've got, uh, say, the beets. And we've got that chopped up, we've got our, ch our box chopped up, cut beat. Then, uh, then we'll be able to put out some decent, decent feed mixes. It's just getting them stored. So I think we've got a 50 50 the uh, cut next time. So we'll do half of it for hay half of it with fresh grass for feed so then if we're still waiting on stuff we've got that fresh grass in there that we're feeding on it's just all, all a bit of a challenge isn't it the challenge is on to be successful maypole was sort of getting a bit easy maybe with uh well pre pre maze plus so i think adding it it's definitely added more to this uh this series as it should I just think it's caught me a little bit off guard how different Maze Plus is working from the last time around I didn't spend a great deal of time with Maze Plus last time but I knew how it worked and how to get get the better of our, our animals I think it's just the uh, the realism that's come from the feed it's not all what they the you know, quantities of feed I'm not sure if it is exactly realism but the, the feed percentages and how that's worked out now it's made it such a challenge one that I'm ready to step up to now but as soon as we can in uh, spring we're going to plant corn over in the, uh, in the bigger field and with that we'll probably do half of it harvest again with 50 50 we'll harvest half of it for feed for the chickens depending on how much they're taking out of this field because that field is easily twice this size so we'll take out half for that and then if we can the rest of that will then silage and put in a smaller clamp and that could be like the backup silage because ours obviously is going to last very long it's in 300,000 litres of it which is nothing for our cows that'll feed 30 cows a day mental yeah we need <laughs> we need serious help I'm going to go around again we need serious help the straw here I might just pick up and put in for bedding I might do that with a lot of the um, extra straw should we say extra straw just load straight into bedding because it, there doesn't seem to be as much of it which is fine I'm happy with that uh, but it'll, it'll work for, for bedding and getting them down and keeping the manure coming let's try and get so we can uh, turn ourselves around a little bit and head back towards the uh, trailer We've got me a roll there that's not the mods, that's me and my break. <laughs> Actually a lovely looking setup this, I like this. I think it's very nice, works very well. It looks like it's such a badassery as well. I love colour coordinated. Obviously if you got a New Holland you could go for a probably yellow New Holland header anyway. But this other header just looks really cool. I thought we'd give it a try. I often just go for everything that matches and don't necessarily use the uh, the extra branded stuff that people uh, added to the game. 
So we go case for case, column for column, John Deere for John Deere. We've got a lot of extra headers for corn and for um, sort of grain headers. So it's nice to get them out and get them, get them used. Everything's looking very, very pleasant. It's very, it's very nice, I like, as I like to chip in. So we get this in here. This is about 20,000, so it'll only, uh, only take a bit of this one. To, oh, it'll take all of this, but then only a bit of the next one. It won't take much to fill it. If I don't, we can get it all in. You should be able to uh, weight to power ratio as it is that is a thing and then once like I said once we've got this done we will uh, look to uh, get ready to turn the field over pretty quick oh wow we'll just go and feed this straight to the chickens yeah we'll, uh, we'll get the straw off and then we'll uh, probably try and remember to mulch mulch it lime it some workers stuck into that. Uh, we'll put some manure down, I think. Then uh, probably plough it. I'll need to plough it. Plow it. So that'll be subsoil. And then, uh, yeah, that'll be good. And while that's probably going on a little bit in the background, we might have to go and take out those trees and that bush. If we get a lot of work done today, then I might do the trees and the hedge in the background. Is that all it needed? I've got to check, haven't I? I don't know why I get out, because it's not done here, it's done in here. <laughs> it's like going to the animal pen. No, oh, total capacity effectiveness. So have I just filled that up and there's no room to put anything else in there? Is that what I've done? Have I just not got room to feed them? Have I proper messed that up? No space for corn. Oh wow, I've got out again, sorry. Okay, that's crazy. There's no more room for feed. Sorry, I'm covering my mouth while I speak. We'll just have to see what they do. If they eat the base food, That'll give us a little bit more room again later on. Did not expect that. Did not expect that at all. Right. So we'll have to put this in storage. Hopefully, the uh, the chickens will eat the base feed with some of the other feed, and that'll then allow me to put another 2,000 litres in at some point. I'll have to keep an eye on that. If not, I'll have to try and go into the XMLs and empty all the feed out, or just put in half of the uh, the amount of wheat that's in there. We'll put in some more of the other stuff, and corn, and uh, see if it'll work that way. Yeah. See, I've been focusing so much on the cows, I've never really been paying attention and looking into cows. I just knew that the chickens needed a bit of everything as well. Didn't, didn't even contemplate that I'd overfilled with the wheat when I put the wheat in there. Well, that's sort of, sort of added a little downer to it, unfortunately. But we shall uh, we'll crack on, get some more of this done. Uh, maybe have a little, a little time lapse here. I might just go round um, Put another another row in the headland because that, that is what I wanted to do. But we go with this way round, and uh, yeah, and then we'll uh, we'll do a little time lapse to finish off and see uh, see what's left.
Well, that is our corn in. Um, you could say that 25, 26 grand lease to do that job is maybe a bit excessive. But it was a good bit of kit. Hate to use the phrase, but it was nice, nice equipment. Uh, got the job done nice and quick. I see, I see no harm in it. Uh, always, like I say, always trying to use things that are different. Now, I did really like the uh, the Wastel Mash that we had last time. But the extra capacity in the New Holland, although that is a lot more expensive, I think it's about 100 grand more than what the Wastel Mash would cost. But that New Holland has got power, it's got capacity, it's compact enough that it doesn't feel overly big for the farm. So maybe in future that could be on a purchase list if if big if if we can start making money again we didn't make any money last night no money whatsoever i felt sure we had enough feed in there of our animals that we could get a little bit of milk money but it didn't seem that we did whether it's just because they don't have the roughage they need i'm sure all the feed was gone from the uh, the holsteins yeah so, I don't know. Not from them ones, anyway. They'll give us milk. They may... They, they won't. I think they have to wait. So we don't get milk from these, anyway. And they are not happy. <laughs> They're not happy. They're not reproducing. They're not doing anything. Oh my god. We're failing as farmers. We really are. I don't think we even count as farmers anymore. Certainly not as dairy farmers. That's going to be some lean meat when I go to slaughter as well. <laughs> oh dear. Right, let's get the last of this corn in. Get the corn in and then we shall uh, start getting this straw in. Pop that into, like I said, pop that into bed in. I'll probably just uh, show you the start of that and then uh, jump to the end. We've done so much uh, forage wagon. especially. Oh wow, was that worth it? <laughs> so much forage wagon out of the straw. I'm not sure whether whether you want to see me do more of that. You know, hap happily in the comments let me know what jobs you're fed up of seeing. I can obviously skip through them. I'll do them. Uh, but skip through them in the videos and maybe for, for, for a couple of doings and then uh, bring it back again. So I tried to do the grass in the background for quite a while but now grass is heavily into what we're doing and we've got to get the uh, cows up but that doesn't necessarily mean you want to see me forage wagon every field get this put away and uh, we'll return the new Holland and the uh, the header very good header it's good, I enjoyed doing that nice to do a little a little different job. I mean, it's harvesting. We've done harvesting. It's the first time we've done corn harvesting, so that's good. We'll return that now. We'll do it via here. So there you go. The new Holland CR. It's the 9000 series. We got the 9090. Uh, Greg Agri AT modding. That's going to be returned. Thank you very much. That is a great harvester. And then the corn header is the. Olimac Drago GT 12 FR by Collins Custom Modern. Return that. Right. Forager on. They probably both need a bit of bedding. I mean, if they're not being fed, it probably doesn't really matter. But we have got stuff. There we go. Rubbing on the wall a little bit. I'm about to hit this wall as well. Not a good manoeuvre that, is it? A little bit tight for that for that turn. Let's try now. Full lock. There we go. I mean, that may even all fit in here. 
do now. We've got quite a capacity, and like I say, the, uh, the corn straw is uh, looking mighty, mighty thin. I'll, uh, I'll get this in. As you can see, we've got the corn straw on. The corn straw's going in. Another great mod. I forget who that mod is by. If you are interested in it and you can't find it, let me know and I shall drop a link down in the comments. the last of the corn straw coming in, the old stalky stalks. We've got a little mound over there, but I think we'll leave that. It's not gonna do masses for us. Uh, I put the last lot in the, uh, the beef cattle, so we'll uh, just use this to uh, do a little top up in the dairy. Gotta mind those posts. They do have collisions now. bit long in it. <laughs> uh, it's a bit too big to squeeze in, babe. Right. Let's get that around here. When we've got the uh, the larger equipment we do now have to uh, consider the route in. So that's why we do go the long way instead of through that little bush. Or where the bush was. There's no bush. We don't cut through bushes. We cut them out. So yeah, a little bit of bedding for them. I'm not going to look at what they've got, what they haven't got, because it's just too damn depressing. Through the roof. Now that's been a few hours. I might quickly run and see if the chickens have took anything. Have you eaten anything? I think they have, haven't they? I don't know why I come over and look. Because that was at 20,000 max capacity, and now it's gone down. So I'm going to have to wait for them to eat the equivalents of that, and then I'll be able to put the capacity space back in. They need the base food, and everything else is a top up. It's a shame they're not in like base food at the top, energy, protein, moisture, that sort of thing. But yeah. Is with it. Although it didn't say roughage there, I'm sure you can feed them hay though. I'm sure I saw that. If you want to know where I'm getting my uh, maze plus information, um, not that I'm very good at retaining it, but I pretty much watch every day since I've said about going to look. Every day I've gone and I've watched uh, Disturbed Simulation and at least one of his maze plus tutorials and even his. Um, Attican Park Maze Plus series. I've watched the t most of the tutorials I've watched two or three times. Uh, information does not stick with my old man brain, unfortunately. So we need to mulch, and I'm not sure if our new grass equipment, whether it'd be cheaty if we tried to do it with that, because that will mulch, mulch and subsoil but that is just supposed to go for grass isn't it? it's in our grass shed but the maize plus cutter roller that is a mulcher or should I go and lease one I wish I never returned the one we had let's go uh, mulching doesn't usually take a lot of power let's just hop in here I'm going to move it so it's not in the sort of way there, we'll probably use it later. Let's go and 
get ourselves a mulcher and we'll do it with the uh, the Deutz. The Deutz right now, so let's head back up to the store. So we're going to lease the Knotch Max Speed 560. This is base game. Requires 130 horsepower. I'm pretty sure we should be okay with the Deutz. Sure we are. We're going to lease that. You'll notice that our money has dropped dramatically. Um, we'll see why. 30 grand's worth, 30, 40, maybe 50 grand's worth of feed here. I'll, uh, I'll get that all into them. Um, probably at the end of the episode. So as we uh, as we go for a sign off, I'll uh, probably head up my way to start picking that up and loading that up. How I'll get it all down there, I don't know. The big bags I shall uh, empty into the trailer. Uh, the bales. I'll have to bring my trailer down and probably stack them by hand. Because I don't have no sort of auto loop thing going on. But yeah. So I'm going to try and look after the cows, try and get that better. I just can't, can't not do it. Especially when we've got money sitting in the bank. As much as I hate spending money on feed. Now, if that works, and we get that into the dairy cow, put some into the beef as well, it's mainly going to go in the dairy. They should give us, by the time they've they processed that and the milk's there, twofold, twofold financially we'll get back on that, so, yeah, it's, it's not a bad thing, it's just, it's, it doesn't look good, but, you know, there are farmers out there that run out of feed or whatever, have bad seasons, bad, bad years, and they have to buy in feed, that's normal. Some farmers only farm to produce animal feed for other farmers, so they've you know they've got the big dairy pastures, they've got the grass and whatnot, but they buy in all the other stuff it's made for. So there's no, no harm in us doing it. It just doesn't look good. Once, like I said, once we're up and running, once I've sorted out where the grassland is going, what needs to be hay, what needs to be grass, where we can get silage from, where we're getting whole crop silage and stuff like that. Once that's figured out, that's going to take me probably a couple of attempts to get that right. Then we'll have a trouble. I think we have enough land to look after these animals. We just need to get to that point where they've got the feed in there and we're not desperate. And at the minute we are desperate. Now we have had a look and this field also requires uh, because it's corn, I think after corn, beets, potatoes, probably sugar cane. After those four crops, you have to plough anyway. So we'll we'll go through this with the subsoiler after we've uh, mulched. I think I'll probably put the the lime on, then mulch it, and then not lime. Shut up. <laughs> I'm gonna lime it, then subsoil it. Then we'll probably have a stone pick in. Then that'll be ready to uh, be planted with whatever. Probably next year. I think it's going to be too late November to plant anything. I think everything sort of will die off through winter if we try and plant it then. But I shall crack on with this. We haven't done much mulching in a while, but I want to try and have this finished and be able to. Uh, start bringing some of that feed back and the best way for me to do that is to jump forward in time so I shall see you in a second. It's now five o'clock, the mulching is still going on, I've uh, I'd say I've got a third of it done myself, I've now stuck the worker in there, they'll get that finished off, I've sort of, oh, look at my mirror, tried to work them sort of a squarish shape in there so that they'd uh, not have no issues as uh, standard work, not a horseplay worker since I'd already done most of the work. And I'm going to head down to the store. I'm going to pick up the bags of feed. We'll load them in. What have we got? So I can't see. Oh, I've got a log trailer. I've only got the right trailer on the back here. <laughs> what a fool. Right. I'll turn around in this man's field. Anyway, I'm going <laughs> to do this now. 
Gotta take this trailer off the back. I forgot I'd even got the log trailer still. I just sort of ran up to it, jumped in, and uh, I was done with it. I've got it stuck. What a tool. See, hedge collisions caught me out. I have to use my muscles and give it a bit of a pull. Oh, lovely. Good job I'm a big, strong lad. Just climbing our van. You guys can join me for this. I have to lose my voice. I've, uh, before doing today's episode, I've just done uh, an episode for the uh, on the map challenge series as well. So I've been talking for a while, so I've done well to not lose my voice with having you know, throat issues as it is. Uh, but yeah, it's now starting to go, which luckily enough is the end of today's episode. I'm going to go and change over my trailer, then I'll go get that feed. I shall feed the dairy cows, I shall then go and get the straw, not straw, the hay, feed the dairies, and put some of each in with the beavers as well. And uh, tomorrow we'll do some more work on what was the, the corn field, and we shall take out the trees with the use of this um, logging trailer. How did I forget that was there? Hopefully you've enjoyed today's episode. A little bit different. I'm trying to keep it a bit short, but I probably failed in that. I've been failing in that quite a bit lately. But yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, give it a big clap, thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn your bell notification on, find out when new videos go live. As always, comments and feedback down there. Let me know what you're thinking. How do you feel about buying all the feed in? Uh, what did you think of that harvester? I know we didn't see a great deal of it because it was just a quick job, but I thought it was a nice looking one. Again, if you're interested, drop a comment and I shall leave a link, because I'm terrible at remembering what they are by the time I get around to doing it. Uh, ultimately, you guys have yourselves a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. If you've reached this far in the video, you are a legend. I absolutely love you. You are the people that are making this channel grow. Thank you so much. I'm having a great time doing it, despite sounding like utter crap half the time. Uh, you guys have a wonderful day, and I shall see you in the next one, hopefully. Bye-bye.